friends, welcome to another episode of Hiking in Yosemite National Park. In this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to hike to North Dome. Along the way, we'll be making a quick detour to this natural arc uh, called Indian Rock, and it is really cool and definitely worth checking out. This is a moderate hike. Round trip, including our quick little detour, is going to be about 10 miles. To get to this trailhead, all you have to do is type in Porcupine Creek Trailhead and it'll bring you directly here. Now this parking lot is small, so if you do want to show up to hike North Dome, be sure to come early in the morning. Although this isn't a really popular hike in Yosemite, once you actually get on top of North Dome, it's going to offer you spectacular views of the valley and Half Dome. Be sure to take out any food and trash out of your car because there are a lot of bear sightings on this trail. Bears are known to break into cars, so you can have a lot of car damage if you do not take out your food. There are bear lockers in the parking lot and there's also a restroom before you head out to the trail. All right, friends, let's head out. It's crazy to think that glaciers came through here and carved out this whole entire landscape. Pretty neat. Hey friends, so I'm sitting on Indian Rock. Um, I'm gonna decide to eat lunch here, it's the perfect place. And I just wanted to point out, Yosemite National Park is extremely busy park, especially 4th of July weekend when I'm filming right now. And for some reason, this hike is very underrated. A lot of people don't hike this for some reason, they would rather go to the valley floor, which I totally understand. Though if you've been to the valley already and you're looking for something else to do, or if you're just looking to beat the crowds, I would definitely hike to North Dome and come to Indian Rock. As you can see, it has perfect views of Half Dome and you're gonna most likely have the whole place to yourself. All right, so that was spectacular. So let's go head on to North Dome and let's be amazed. And the way we're gonna do that, um, we're just heading down from Indian Rock and we're gonna take a left towards the valley. Let's do it. We're pretty close to North Dome. It's just gonna be a little bit more in this direction. At this point, there's really no trail. You, you're kind of just walking um, on top of this dome and until you can't walk anymore and it's pretty obvious it looks like some people have put some rock cairns here and there uh usually i'm not a fan of rock cairns because rock cairns are only supposed to be for marking trails which in this, in this case it is um some people like to stack rocks which makes it kind of confusing because they're literally meant as a tool well anyway that's a different topic um let's head on down All right, friends, so we're getting pretty close. When you ended up leaving Indian Rock and you start going onto the Granite Dome, um, there's gonna be a few rock cairns in the beginning leading you in the right direction. And then for some reason, someone put um, a bunch of rocks that curve that actually go the opposite way that you need to go. Um, do not follow those rocks, they'll just confuse you. Um, so all you have to do is keep on going over the hump and then down and directly behind me is North Dome.
All right, so we're almost there. When you go over the hump, it's gonna lead you right to this sign right here. And according to the sign, we're only a half a mile away. Even though it's right there, you can see it. It looks so close. Uh, the reason why it's a half a mile is because it actually has to zigzag down a little bit uh, because right here there's a steep drop. So it's gonna zig down, zigzag down through some trees and then it's gonna take you to the top of North Dome. And if you look in this direction here, um, if you were to continue going that way, it'll take you to uh, Yosemite Falls, uh, which is 4.2 miles away, and then Yosemite Valley, which is 7.3 miles away. All right, so let's do our zigzags. Let's head on over there, half a mile, let's go. so stoked literally the only one here on north dome and this could be you if you decide to hike here uh half dome and the summit of north dome is just right at my fingertips well, let's go baby let's do it All right, friends, that concludes our trip. We made it all the way from the Porcupine Creek Trailhead all the way to the top of North Dome. We did a little detour and we checked out Indian Rock. And now we're on top of North Dome and we can see views of Half Dome. In this direction, you can see views of the valley. In this direction, you can see a few waterfalls uh, and that's gonna be where the mist trail is. And this direction, the tallest peak over there is gonna be Clouds Rest. And that's pretty much about it. You could spend probably 45 minutes to an hour up here. It is a little bit windy, so make sure your hats are on tight because they will blow down onto the valley floor and say goodbye hat. There are a few options for heading back. You can either go back up the trail that we just came down, or you can head down to Yosemite Falls. And eventually um, you'll see a right. And if you take a right on that junction, that's gonna lead you right back to Tioga Road or you can hike all the way to Yosemite Falls and then from there hike down to the valley. Though obviously you would need to be picked up from there. Until next time, my friends.